thing is, is we have had a lot of ice. We've had like the freeze and the thaw and it seems to have been a pretty long winter. Yeah. And I discovered on Instagram this amazing woman, Veda Austin. She's a water researcher. She's the author of a book, The Intelligence of Water. Yeah. And she's really amazing. What she does is she freezes ice and she takes photos. It's called a crystallographer. I, and when you first she, brought this story to me, I said, what? And I didn't say it in a way that I was just like saying, this is kind of weird. I was like really interested by it because you started by showing me the pictures. And I think yes. people are really gonna find this very interesting. It's really, really amazing. Mm -hmm. Pictures speak a thousand words. Take a look at what Veda has been discovering when she puts intentions into water and then takes a photo of that frozen water. Have a look. Whenever you drink a glass of water, it's nice to remember it's been through the clouds, it's been through the trees, it's been through the animals, it's been through our ancestors. Messages in the ice. Can water communicate with us? Veda Austin, a New Zealander based in California, thinks so. I'm a crystallographer, so I basically take photographs of frozen water after it's been exposed to an influence of kind. Austin's work is inspired by French water researcher Laurent Costa and also Dr. Masaru Emoto, who is famous for his studies that show how ice crystals seem to form different patterns and shapes after exposure to different outside influences. And that influence could be thoughts or music, words, environment, uh, anything like that. It really is endless as to the kind of things you can inspire water with. Using a simple technique, Austin first exposes a small amount of water in a petri dish to thoughts, written words or pictures before flash freezing the water. Then she takes a picture with her iPhone. She says, it's an experiment anyone can try and offers tutorials through social media. Most of us have freezers. Most of us, so you can order a cheap Petri dish. You can, and most of us have water and we all have something to think. Currently, Austin is working on a collection of hydroglyphs. There's so much more to water than it just being a drink and washing away our waste and cleaning our bodies. I was wondering whether or not water really did uh, have some kind of ability to store information. Think of these hydroglyphs as being just like ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs only formed in frozen water after that water has been exposed to a word. Now I have 31 glyphs. It's taken me three and a half years to get that many because it takes so long to say I have one. The process of discovery requires Austin to see an image occur constantly. This tree of life is one hydroglyph Austin has connected to the word wholeness. If it makes you just stop and think that water might actually have something, some depth to it, that it is ancient, that, that we're filled with it, just to even remember what was the last word you spoke? Because there is a frequency, there is a vibration in your mouth through the saliva and that will be the first thing that the water will touch. Science or magic. So for me, working in this realm of water and taking these photographs has led me on a much deeper journey than I ever imagined. So cool. Wow, that's deep. <laughs> I love it. Because no matter what you believe, right, how it works, it's beautiful regardless. Oh my gosh. Isn't it? And you can follow Veda on Instagram at Veda Os Veda. And uh, Veda Austin underscore water. I'll share it on our Facebook page. Yes, because take a look at those pictures. Yeah. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh my gosh, so oh beautiful. My gosh. I, I just love it because there is a lot of there are a lot of studies out there where they have intention, people set intentions to the water and mm -hmm. then look microscopically at the yes. ice crystals that are formed. I mean, Veda's just taking the photos with her iPhone, which is something anyone can do, which wow, is amazing. Wow, really? Yeah, I mean, yeah. they look amazing. But isn't it interesting how there's like, it just sort of, you know, the love versus anger. Mm -hmm. And it makes you think about, like Veda said, what is the last word you said? What right. came out of your mouth last And how does it affect our bodies, mm -hmm. which are so much water? Ourselves, let alone people outside of us, but also ourselves. It's so, oh, I think it's, oh. anyway, I'm a total hippie. Deep moments on this yeah. Tuesday. Yeah. So cool. <laughs> Thank so, you so, so cool. much for that, Mel. Yeah, fun.